Hey y'all, it's Chrissy, and welcome to another YouTube video. Today we are doing Island Twist, also known as Bunny Run Twist, also known as Senegalese Twist with human hair sticking out. <laughs> as you can see here, I am just pre-parting my parts. That's the number one tip, always pre-part, you know. It may take more time, but the more you do it, the more faster you get. And I like to do this to make sure I get a clean part. I then go for my gel and I put my gel on the part, my braiding gel. I don't wanna, you know, I don't wanna gatekeep, but at the same time I do wanna gatekeep because they're not paying me. And then now you see me pre-parting again, making sure everything's straight and smooth and molded out. And I comb it out as well. And yeah. Now this is where I start to braid. I part it in three and I braid down twice and then I add the hair. You get me? I wish I would have slow moded, but honestly, this editing stuff is like kinda hard for me. But then I start to go in and I add more pieces of hair. I usually try to make it the size I want the twist or the braid to be. And this is medium. Her hair has about, I believe, seven rows. Now you see me starting to twist the hair. If you know how to send a glaze twist, this should be easy. This is like a detail review, but not a detail review. Like, a detail, you know, tutorial, I mean, not really. And now you see me just add the hair as I go on. And I just twist, 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 twist. Y'all, don't mind her. Her mom was at the appointment and we were all just watching like baddies, I think. So she just tuned in to baddies. Also, y'all, this was one of the easiest appointments I've ever had. She came and washed, blow dry. And she knew how to hold her head. Like, if you don't hold your head still, your parts won't be straight. If you don't come washed and blow dry, your hair is not going to last. And your hair is going to smell. And it's not going to look good. So I suggest you come wash and blow dry. And look at that. We got us a nice little twisty twist. And now for the rest of the video, I'm just going to repeat the steps smoothing it out with my gel and going over the parts with my comb and yeah when it comes to editing I usually rush through it but I have a little bit of time on my hands today so I'm actually watch the video and actually talk about the things that I am doing and why I'm doing it so the reason why <laughs> I parted the hair in three, the little box part in three is just so I would be able to grab all three parts with my fingers in order to create that braid. If you know how to braid, then this should be easier. You know, this is like a beginner tutorial, but at the same time it's not because I'm not doing like how I actually do the twist. You get me? I'm just showing y'all how I basically did it and how I'm doing things. I think I add the human hair in here. Maybe, maybe not. I probably did it. Yeah, but it'll come up soon. And make sure your twists are very consistent, not bumpy, and not loose. I hate seeing loose twists. That is, that's not a twist. Like, that's a twist, but I don't know. That's not how you should twist. Make sure your twists are always tight so that your twist doesn't fall out and you don't have compl your clients complaining about their twist falling out or unraveling. Um, I was kind of, I'm always skeptical like when it comes to twisting hair because I was scared that the hair going to unravel and stuff. So I, this time I didn't dip the ends completely I only dip the ends like 
all the way at the end of your hair. I didn't dip like up to like half. And then I took a towel. Oops, I'm just fixing my camera. My bad, y'all. You know, I should have edited this, but <laughs> this is just raw content at this point. Very little edit. <sighs> but yeah, I know I mentioned earlier oh, yeah. about partying and the sizing of the braids and how your braids and your twist should look. That's like the most important thing. Please stop giving people these big parts and little braids. You know, I had my time, you get me? But I learned and I perfected my craft. And I'm still perfecting my craft, but, but we need to stop because Y'all put in too much gel on these people's hair and give them this medium, big partings and calling it small. That is not small, baby. Like, that's definitely not small. That's medium. And then, on top of that, you're charging $500. Okay, I'm gonna shut up. Because then, everybody, everybody gonna beat me up. But, you see, that's the, that's the problem. I'm gonna talk about everybody. I'm not just gonna talk about oh the clients this is for everybody this channel is for everybody clients the hairstylists everybody you get me we, we judging everybody <laughs> i'm sorry i would say judge me for you soon but we are judging everybody but look y'all i just added the hair you get me i hope y'all seen that it wasn't hard i just slipped it right in in between the twist if that makes sense and i just continue to twist tightly back to what i was saying please focus on your parts you get me even if you break so it's okay eventually i'm sorry about the background noise eventually you'll learn how to braid faster over time stop worrying about braiding faster and make sure that the hair looks decent You get me? Just practice, practice, and practice. That's all it takes. 